How would you describe the spring of 2021 here in the area? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess a little bit whirlwind. Um, I think, uh, you know, just a pleasant surprise, you know, to say that we got through it. You know, like that was the big thing is, is our goal the whole time was like, let's get these kids as many games as we can. That was my personal goal. As a coaching staff, as we decided, I told our seniors, I said nothing else matters but getting you guys games. I said, whatever we got to do, if that means no practices, games only, <laughs> we'll roll the balls out and go. Um, you know, and so we had to do that a lot with our practice times and the way that we, we, we did a lot of things in the off season. And, and it was a lot of just, hey, go out there and play. Let's, let's do what we have to do to get you guys to enjoy your senior season. And, you know, I was, we were, turned out pretty, pretty beneficial. I was going to say, given the results outside of the playoff game, <laughs> did it exceed your expectations? Yeah, I mean, I knew we had a good group. I knew they were special. I knew they could they could do some good things, and they worked their butts off. Even though we were quarantined, I mean, they're out there at River City mm -hmm. four to eight, five days a week, you know, throwing and catching and doing stuff. I mean, you know, our, our big boys came in in, in shape, and we, we had a lot of guys contribute. And uh, that was a cool thing as a coach to figure out how to figure some moving pieces out. And, and you know, everybody had to do things differently. But uh, I was really excited that, you know, the way the kids responded. And, you know, to exceed expectations, you know, I mean, maybe. I, but I expected us to have a really, really good year. You know, you just don't know how good good's going to be sometimes. Now you get Barina, Atlee, Henrico, and Matulka mm -hmm. all coming down yeah. to 4B. And it's probably now the most competitive region in this state. What are your thoughts about now with 17 teams possible in Region 4B. The playoffs are going to be more challenging to get in this year. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I believe you 100%. I mean, it's it's good. You know, it's, it's going to elevate, I think, everybody else around here. You know, I mean, uh, I think, you know, it, it's exciting. You know, people always ask me all the time about, well, what do you think about the, the alignment? What do you think about that? It, nothing's perfect. I like I like the way that we do that we do it where we get to play our rivals every year. We get to play Manchester. They they go up to a six, we play them. They come back down to a five, we're playing them because that's their their it's a rival. We keep those conference game or district games, but when we get to the playoffs and it's state championship and, and regional championships on the line, you're playing against somebody that's got as many students walking the halls as you do. And so therefore it's a little bit more equal opportunity to uh, compete on a level playing field. And uh, I, I, I like the way we're doing it. I'm sure there's ways to make it better and I'm all ears to listen, but you know, all right, right now I'm excited about the opportunity with, with a bunch of new faces coming down here. It's going to make us, you know, every game matters.